Someone said, can you make the essential objective hill? And I said, yes, I can. How about I do it in the style of the bit in the two towers where Saruman says, send out your warg riders. So this is what I came up with. This video will tell you exactly how I did the structure of this piece. And in the next part of the video, you will see how I decorated and flocked it. Let's get into it. Okay, so our hill is going to be pretty big. It's going to start by drawing an outline. And it's going to be our outline. Um, now, some big sections which definitely aren't going to be used. So, across, so not, I'm not going to... You'll see why in a minute. Part of this is just going to have slopes on it, and part of this is going to be built up, one like that. It's going to be this high, but I want it to be that shape. Shape the, the other side of this. This will all make sense in a minute. Probably pretty good, actually. Next up, I'm going to glue these slightly raised areas. I've moved, this is just going to be glued on with super glue. So I'm going to, and then I'm going to stick this glue again just um, because we can make any of it look good with these parts even this one that's only just gone down even that one next up I'm going to cut this whole thing out so um, on these areas here I'm going to really try and get as much slant on this as possible so that it can be what you want models to be able to feel like they can easily get onto it not feel like it's a step and that means it's going to take longer to do but if you are patient with it, then it is worth it. Going down an angle at, once you started that angle off, it's, it becomes easier. If we cut straight down, then we'd have a step like that. So this is why I've cut off at this angle. You can see that texture that already looks like it could be rock or it could be ground or something rather than it being just a like a cliff edge. So um be much more No, we, we want it to be much more like that. So we have the angled bit there and we have the kind of taller cliff edge type bit there. Um, so I'm gonna go around the rest of the board and do that. Okay, that's the uh, main Thing done. This is going to be cut in half at some point, but I'm going to do that much later on. Uh, now I'm going to do the, the middle section, which will be another piece of this, a template for it. It will look like before I go ahead and cut a big, big piece of foam. Something like that. And see what it looks like. So on the first draft of the template, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it around here. Uh, so I want to take a bit off of there, maybe put a bit out here, maybe a bit more out here as well main bit that I want some more on so I'm going to have it come out. I'm going to cut that out. So we have our cut out bit. i going to stick that firmly in place. So if you're going to do a lot of crafting I recommend you get a PVA glue this size because it's the cheapest. Okay now let's uh, cover this edge in super glue. We will dry fairly quickly, but so let's try and get this right first time. Cool. So at this stage where there's some real thinking to do about exactly what I want it to look like. So I had a, a plan in mind, obviously, but now it's here in front of me and I just need to make sure that I get it right. So I'm gonna do some paths on it that are gonna be this is for Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game, and there's kind of things called difficult terrain, um, and we want some of it to be difficult terrain and some to be less so. So there's gonna be a path up here that comes up onto this higher bit, so there's gonna be a path up here, that's gonna kind of join up as a path across like that. So, and this is also gonna be cut in half, so it's about deciding where that's gonna be. And I think that's gonna be about, about there, along that kind of line. And this is gonna build up into something much taller. We know this path, it's going to be like this. It's going to. The big decision is whereabouts is this whole thing going to get cut in half? About there. I think. Big decision. So 
So I'm going to cut something out, which is that shape. So there's our bit cut out. That is going to go here. No, I'm just going to do the edges of this one. I don't think the PVA is necessary. Just making sure. So next up we are gonna, this is in place, um, I'm gonna build up a bit of rock here, hopefully going all the way up to the edge. So for that I'm using expanding foam, <coughs> see how this goes. Very much hoping this is going to expand into something massive, and the idea is to have a slope up to a, a thing. Hopefully, it's going to come up to kind of yay high, but a kind of central objective sort of thing here. So, a nice big diameter on that, like a kind of six inch diameter, hopefully, um, and make a path that leads up to that. Um, and I think that'll look pretty awesome, but we'll be back once that's expanded and might expand a hilarious amount. So, let's see. There's a lot of foam there. And this is very much still soft, so I'm not doing anything with that in the moment. But what I am going to do is I am going to use my hot wire cutter just to start taking some of this out here to form that as a more of a path. Because, yeah, this looks like you could climb up it, but I want it to be more of a path. So I'm going to get rid of some of that whilst being very careful to not get horrible stuff on me. So this isn't the best thing for hot wire cutters to cut, but it does get through them. So I'm going to use this kind of sawing action. It's in a well ventilated area, completely unlike the one I'm using. Let's see how that looks. See, that looks so much more like a path up there. Really easy to use this accurately on something like this, on like, XPS phones are a bit more difficult. You can of course use a knife for this, but I'm not. And I'm going to do the same, getting it at the angle I want and then sawing. It wasn't my original plan, but I'm just looking at how this is turning out. And I feel like something here would be good as well. So I'm gonna... Bring that one quite well. Yeah. So it's kind of three pathways leading up. Um, this is expanding <laughs> quite a lot, but we, we, we expected it to. So it's fine. We have a lot of carving to do a bit later on. So as predicted, this has expanded a lot. And we have the structure of this piece complete. Join me in the next part of the video where I will be carving this up, decorating and flocking the whole thing and finishing it off.